Hi, welcome back. Now that you've seen the old ways of using liquid nitrous to make horsepower, let's look at some of the new ways from Boss Nos. Now behind me, I have another diagram. This diagram is much more simple than the previous diagram. As you can see, there's lots less components. But let me go through and, and name all these components for you so that you can recognize them. First off, right here is the nitrous bottle. As you come down the nitrous line, you come down to the smart box and on down the line we have a NPFI, it's a nitrous powered fuel injector. Now on the fuel side we have a fuel container, we have the fuel line that also goes into the nitrous powered fuel injector. Now this system is quite a bit different from the old system and the old ways of doing liquid nitrous. First off, the old system used to run on 900 PSI. The new way of doing liquid nitrous is we run on 300 PSI. So you're probably wondering how our system runs on 300 PSI and the old one ran on 900 PSI or why. Well, if we run on 300 PSI, our bottle pressure can bounce around at whatever pressure it wants to, but by the time it gets down here to the smart box, it really doesn't make any difference because inside our smart box we have the world's first liquid nitrous pressure regulator. Now once again the pressure can bounce all over in this bottle and it makes no difference. The liquid nitrous pressure regulator harnesses that pressure and delivers a steady 300 PSI. Now down line from the the pressure regulator we have the nitrous powered fuel injector. This is a world first as well. This actually is a solenoid, but it's operated by the nitrous. So as you activate the system, the nitrous comes down line, and as soon as it hits the nitrous powered fuel injector, there's a piston inside of this, and the pressure lifts the piston up, which opens an orifice down at the bottom of the nitrous powered fuel injector. Now if you'll see right here, there's another line running to it, which is the fuel. So the fuel is sitting right here all the time. So as soon as you activate the system, the fuel steps in place, the nitrous spray comes down the center of the piston and creates a venturi and pulls that fuel right out of the nitrous powered fuel injector. This is a venturi that's about 15 inches of mercury vacuum. Now I have a working model of this right here. So let's take a moment and I'm going to spray this so you can actually see the fuel level drop and then you can see the atomized nitrous and fuel. Okay. Now as I activate this nitrous switch, I want you to keep your eyes on this fuel. and I'm going to have the camera focus in on this fuel and each time I push the activation switch you'll see the fuel levels drop. Also on the NPFI, you'll be able to see the nitrous spray coming out of it, and it will be a fuel and nitrous mixture. Okay, ready? Now, I also want to reiterate the simplicity of this system. There's no fuel pump here, yet it's still pumping the fuel, which goes back to our diagram right here that I was talking about earlier. We actually create a venturi. Now you're probably wondering how we jet this whole system. Well keep in mind when you purchase a system you don't have to worry about any of the jetting because it, it comes pre-jetted. Now right here if I can also have the camera focus in on this different colored fitting this is where our fuel jet is. Inside of that fitting right there there's a specific size of orifice what only allows the NPFI to pull a metered amount of fuel. Also, I can take the cap off the NPFI and then I can pop the, the nitrous piston out of the NPFI. And this is what the nitrous piston looks like. Now in the side of the piston is where the orifice for the nitrous flow is. So different sizes of orifices right here 
will allow different amounts of nitrous to flow through the system. You won't have to change your fuel jet when you change different sizes of, of nitrous pistons because the, the NPFI works like a carburetor. It will pull the amount of fuel that it needs to cover the nitrous hit. So you just take this piston, just pop it back into place, put the cap back on, and keep your eyes on the fuel. Instantly primed, and once again, pulls the exact same amount of fuel every single time. Keep your eyes open for the Boss Nos truck. We'll be up in the mountains riding snowmobiles. We'll be out on the sand dunes riding four-wheelers and side-by-sides. And we really appreciate you taking time for us. Thank you very much.